Welcome Gemini. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and see what is going on for you and how potentially we may be able to help you through the next two weeks. Okay, so using the Mystic Healing Reading Cards and the Muse Tarot and the Shadow Healing Deck. Okay, so let's have a little look-see here. Feeling a bit of a sense of, I guess, anxiety. <clears throat> but that's quite, there's this heightened sense of feeling quite on edge, I suppose. Let's just see. I just want to see if anything jumps out first here, Gemini, to start us off. Oh, two cards. Anything else? Four cards. Okay, sweet. So, let's just get those there, there, and there. Okay, Gemini, so I wonder if there's something that has been going on for you, a decision that you've been trying to make or wondering, oh gosh, is this the best thing to do or not? Um, and the answer is, it's a yes. It's a yes, Gemini. Okay, so... um whatever that is for you it's a yes i do feel like gemini there's a need to sort of figure out what it is that whatever direction you're going to head in what it is that you need to take with you and what it is that you need to leave behind because i i wonder if this is what the anxiety is about not sure which direction to go in type of thing you know is this the best thing for me is this the best thing for the people around me type of thing okay um so yeah the other thing i feel like do you know what i feel like with this gemini is you actually releasing parts of yourself that maybe you use to cover, oh, that's not the right way of putting it, to cover things up, but it's not necessarily to cover things up, more so sort of, I suppose, putting on a bit of a mask in a sense because it feels like that's what you think the people around you want. Um, so it's kind of like taking all that off and leaving that behind and coming out and saying, do you know what? This is who I truly am. Like it or lump it type of thing. You know, and yeah. I mean, I know there's the twin thing with the Gemini, right? But you know, and maybe that is because I'm I'm just getting these two sides to you, um, which is a typical Gemini but the interesting thing is that when I see that these two sides to you I see like one side here and one side here but what I'm seeing in this card is not one side here and one side there it's actually one up here and one down here very contrasting um, appearances if you like it's like two whole different worlds so I wonder if some of you are transitioning from one world to another in a sense um it's sort of like you're going through this how would I put it like you've been traveling along this journey and now you're actually going through a sort of I don't know, all I can think of is portal. That's the only word that's coming to me. You're going through some sort of portal at the moment. Um, and I kind of see it as like a car wash. It's like you've gone into the car wash, had this little spin cycle, and now you're coming out a whole nother person type of thing. So yeah, tell me more about it. It's a yes for Gemini, please. Tell me more about this. Two cards, but it's a yes for Gemini. One, Knight of Materials. Love it. I love it. Gemini, love, love, love this. <laughs> I think, I, 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 yeah, okay, cool. I get a sense that um, there's this feeling of you, 
rediscovering yourself, I suppose. Being unapologetically you. And um, because uh, this knight of materials here, look at this horse with this this reef around its neck and the flower in the behind the ear. Like, you know, it's like I'm not just a horse, I'm this flower power horse type of thing, right? Like, um, yeah, but I still feel like there's this sort of discovering that you're doing of yourself, working out what parts of yourself you like and what parts of yourself you would like to change, in a sense, what works for you. But I would be aware of doing that for you, um, rather than for those around you. Really what feels like the true you, you know? That's very important, Gemini, for you. Because you don't want to get down the track and find that, oh, I th this isn't even really who I am, because I did this, because there's... The, these people in my life um I did it because you know you want to be doing it because this is you for you if that makes sense and we have the eight of inspiration yeah and that's sort of the same thing like you know it's it's kind of like trying on different outfits right to see what works what you like what fits so this could be a bit of a process that you're going through okay and um yeah it's sort of like you're coming out of this coming out of this um blurry time of your life and things are coming into view a bit clearer for you I feel so yeah so this next card that jumped out here is show self-respect I love this Gemini show self-respect see in this card here I did notice and I didn't say anything was this mask here um, sort of coming off like this person setting everything free and not having that mask on right and I notice here that this person is standing on this mask it's like kind of rising did I even show you that I'm not sure but anyway here it is it's kind of like rising up there's this sort of upgrade I feel that you're going through but it's not just rising up Oh, this says soul and nice. Um, and it says Invictus. Invictus. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. So have a look up Invictus. Soul is Spanish for the sun. Invictus. I don't know. I wish I knew. Anyhow, um, I feel like you're you're rising up I, there's definitely been this upgrade because if you look at this one down here with you know what I perceive to be the mask right the wings here um the look at the wings here there's definitely been it's like trading in the old you for the new you and and it is like this trying on what works for me and what do I feel comfortable in and the, does this jacket work or you know it's like yeah no sort of but not quite you know so yeah this is you discovering you Gemini I absolutely love this okay so show self-respect and I suppose it is this thing of honoring yourself, you know, which is the showing yourself self-respect, you know. So, yeah, give me two cards for show self-respect for Gemini, please. Two cards for show self-respect for Gemini. Just wondering if this is a bit like what's partly that some of you is being revealed some of you has been shown and there's still some stuff in the shadows there that you're not sure quite who you are and you're still working out yeah we've got the magician here love this and this is part of your transformation I feel okay and the hermit interesting Gemini look at these two cards here Right, so yeah, this is you uh, definitely like working out your power, I feel. I feel like this is 
you um, sort of taking action to, to kind of deliver yourself to the world in a sense. Um, and, and I say that because usually the hermit is, is shown at night time with the guiding light. But here's the hermit with the sun just rising, which is very interesting because the soul meaning sun here, um, which is why I'm just wondering if in, Invictus means moon, maybe. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's parts of yourself you're starting to reveal, but you're still playing around and, um, and tweaking these other parts of yourself. Okay. And, um, there was something else. What was that? Um, it's kind of like what I'm getting here, Gemini, is sort of, it's a bit like baking a cake, right? Or or trying out a different recipe and you don't quite like it. So you, you want to change the ingredients so it works for you. So you're trying all these different things out to see what it is you can create but this is real you know with the hermit card here this is real soul searching stuff okay and um i feel like man oh man are you going through a, a massive transformation right now for some of you um we've got the next card here which is create boundaries mm, here's this mask again right the mask again and this looking in the mirror so this is you looking in the mirror but the reflection in the mirror is different from the person holding like there's no lipstick on this person but there's lipstick in here again this is you trying different things out and i feel like the person who has taken off the mask where are we sorry it's reversed this person here who has taken off this mask Feel like they feel quite sad and I feel as though sometimes Gemini when you look at yourself you don't like what you see and so I suppose it's a matter of you getting to a place where when you look at yourself of, of really loving who you are so that when you look at yourself, you can actually look in the mirror and say, hey, how are you doing, you know? But the other thing I do want to say here, Gemini, something that may help you with this, um, there's a really cool thing by a lady, um, and she actually talks about, I don't know if I can mention names on here, because I think you can only do that when you're at so many followers or something or other, so I don't want to get in the book for it. But I'll, I'm not going to claim um, that it's mine. Um, but yeah, she talks about looking in the mirror and high-fiving yourself in the morning, like really taking a moment to look into your eyes and being present with yourself and then high-fiving yourself in the mirror. Yeah, because you have your back, Gemini. You know, this is really you backing yourself up, right? So, yeah, that's just coming to me for you to maybe start doing and just see the difference that that makes in your life and do that on a daily. Do that at least once in the morning, if not every time you see yourself in the mirror. Okay, let me just pause you because I've had a card drop on the floor here. So the card that fell on the floor is the Eight of Voices. Okay, and this is really about you getting inside your head. And I feel as though um, the stories that you're telling yourself in your mind is actually um, clouding your vision and it's not allowing you to see things clearly. So with this creating boundaries, the boundaries may very well need to be with yourself. And what it is that you're telling yourself. Really take note of the voice in your head, Gemini. Because it's going 10 to the dozen. And it's a little bit hard for you to keep up. And it just feels like it's doing your head in a little bit. Um, and the thing is that I feel like a lot of talk that's going on in your head is quite negative towards yourself. 
there's a lot of you putting yourself down and saying that you're not good enough and saying that you're just a piece of crap, really. And so I feel like it's important for you at this time to be very vigilant as to the self-talk that is going on, okay? And this is all part of this, you know, showing yourself some respect, you know, because you wouldn't really do that to anybody else necessarily. And so why would you do it to you? You know, so this is very important for you, Gemini, because I feel like it's affecting a lot of areas in your life. OK, so and that's not to say that you're bad, um, not at all. OK, it's just catching yourself out of those things. And every time um, that you say something against yourself, Gemini, a good thing to do would be to apologize to yourself for speaking so horribly to yourself. Yeah, because realistically, you are a Gemini, all right? So imagine these two of you here. And if you've got one talking, you know, rubbish about you, are you really going to invite them for a cup of tea again? No, hopefully not. You know, you're not going to want to have them around again. So don't invite that in, you know, don't allow that to remain um, because that is not serving you whatsoever. Okay, we also have the seven of materials here. And the one thing I do want to say for you, Gemini, is that some of you, you feel like you're right at the beginning of um, something, but I actually feel like you've traveled quite a long way at this point. And so it's important for you to see the work that you have done and how far you have come, okay? For some of you, there's been the sense of being in real darkness and um, you're starting to come out of that. You've done a heap of work to come out of that. And you've still got a bit to go. But um, yeah, it's sort of like this is this another leg of the journey to finish off this journey type of thing. And so, you know, it could even be that right now you do change direction or you do something differently. Um, but... Yeah, I, I, I just feel like it's important for you to give yourself some credit for how far you've come because it seems to me, Gemini, that any time you are given credit, you wipe it off like it's nothing and you, you're very quick to give a compliment to the next person. And so you don't like that focus on you. There's something in you that says that you're not good enough to receive they those compliments or um or to even look at yourself in a positive way and this is quite a um, crucial thing for you to start to master for yourself because then that way those around you are going to start to at least sense that um that growth within you and naturally they're going to match that okay Okay, so Gemini, reverse disassociation. Wow. Wow. So what's been happening, I feel, is you've been quite disassociated from certain things in your life. This is a power pack card, man. This is an absolutely power pack card the information that's coming through. So I'm trying to put it in a way that's clear. So you've disassociated yourself from certain events in your life for whatever reason, be it that it was easier to cope with at the time or that you just didn't want to look at it, okay? And it feels like you need to reverse that now that this is the time because it's like... Trying to get through this door here, right? You've got the lock and you've got the key, but each twin has one. So I feel like this is so representative of you, Gemini. This is one of your twins. This is the other twin. One has the keyhole, one has the key. But the thing is, they're not even matching. They're not on the same page. They're not even in the same realm right now. And I feel like this is a matter of you finding, like bringing these two twins into the same realm 
It's the only way I can put it because that's what I'm seeing. It's bringing these two twins into the same realm because they can't even get on the same page if they're in different realms. They're in entirely different books. How are they ever meant to get on the same page? You know, so there's some definite healing work that has to be done here, Gemini. Um, because the disassociation was a coping mechanism that you once used for whatever reason. And and this is this is actually Gemini, this could be a disassociation from yourself. And this is why maybe you can't actually receive a compliment or you don't believe it when someone says that you're awesome or whatever. Um, because it's sort of like it's sort of like you step out of your body in a sense. Very interesting. Tell me more about disassociation, reverse disassociation for Gemini. And I feel like this is going to help you step into this new cycle by reversing this, okay, or at least starting to work with that Gemini. And have a look, like it may even pay for you to learn about disassociation and what that looks like, okay. Especially say if you're dealing with um, past traumas or anything like that, okay. So let's have a look here, reverse disassociation, two cards for Gemini. What's this one? We've had one. Okay, Queen of Emotions. I love. It. Yeah, I just want to. Sorry, there's too many cards here, but I want to just address this one before I carry on. Okay, so Gemini, I feel like with this Queen of Emotions here, beautiful card by the way. I love it. Um, I feel as though ugh, this is about you sort of mastering your emotions. Okay, I feel like um, it's really important for you to really start listening to this internal guidance system, which is your emotions, okay? And, and often, when I was talking about your thoughts earlier on, this is pretty much like your thoughts are going to create an emotion within you. So if you're always feeling, say, for example, if you're always feeling anxious, what are the thoughts that are being processed in your head that cause you to feel this anxiety. What is actually going on inside of your head? Okay, so it's kind of like slowing this record down in your head so you can actually hear what is being said. Okay, um, and then the thing is, the other thing of this, Gemini, is that when you are feeling these emotions, I feel like, I mean, which is kind of normal, right? You don't want to feel them because they feel negative. Anxiety is not pleasant to feel. It's not like we wake up in the morning and go, oh my God, I can't wait to feel anxious today. That doesn't happen at all. I don't know anyone who enjoys feeling anxious. Um, so it really is looking at these emotions though and, and paying them some attention because they are there to be acknowledged and they are there to be seen because the reason they keep popping up Gemini is because they haven't you haven't paid attention to them and you keep pushing them down and suppressing them and um and it's not helping I feel like I feel like see this one walking out of the water here I feel like once you start to um acknowledge the emotions that feel like are weighing you down because it feels like you're drowning in these emotions okay I can feel that Gemini and it's really heavy and it's all in this chest area here and it feels very almost like kind of it makes you feel sick sometimes you know like nauseous um, it's a sickening feeling and it's it's a horrible feeling to hear uh, to feel right and so once you start actually acknowledging these emotions this is going to allow you to come out of them you're not going to be weighed down and immersed in them anymore okay but it does take work it's not like you acknowledge the emotion once and then that's it voila done there's lots of layers to it but I really feel like that may help you okay and then you'll be able to become more connected with yourself okay because I just wonder if that disassociation that disconnection is so that you don't have to feel those emotions, okay? Um, and we have the six of voices. Whew. 
six of voices here, Gemini. See how little this person is here? I feel like this, this person here has so much power over this big one here. So I feel like this is these voices in your mind, to be honest with you. So it really is coming away from that. Okay, um, because this person here has got this one on their finger. It's like she could just go flick and this one would go flying off. But for some reason it has power over you. So it's looking at what is it that has power over you and why do you keep holding on to certain things when they are not serving you? What is it? What is it that has power over you? Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. The next card. Okay. This is confusing, Gemini. It's a no. <laughs> Just to confuse you. One twin says yes. And one twin says no. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like with these two cards, it's a yes and it's a no, is representing the confusion within you. Okay. And I also feel as though it's not necessarily about it's a yes and it's a no. It's about the message that is coming through from these cards okay so I feel like yeah this is you running from your emotions like it's a no this is you saying it's a no I'm not feeling those emotions don't want to feel them don't want to know okay um because you see water represents emotions right and this person here is sitting on this this bollard and there's actually no other way to go than to immerse themselves in the emotion in, in the ocean which is representing the emotions okay and this is exactly what the queen of emotions does she gets those emotions and she works with them man because that's what she's all about because she knows that once they're released they're not going to have power over her anymore okay so i feel like this is absolutely crucial for you to do even though I know you don't want to, I know it's uncomfortable, it really, really is, but it is also necessary. There's a plan, there's these plans behind this person as well, and I feel like it's important for you to have a plan when you go through this work. Don't go through it alone, Gemini. Okay, maybe get someone who, who is able to help you with those. We have the three of voices here. Look at this. Look at this. I feel like, oh, this is so sad. This is you hiding behind this closed door here, Gemini, bawling your freaking eyes out, feeling so alone and so vulnerable. This is so, so sad. You just don't want to, it's like you just don't want to be anymore. One more card for It's a No for Gemini. Too many cards here. Far too many cards. The tap, oh, there we go. Oh, that's two cards. There's too many cards. One card, one card. Too many again. One more card for Gemini. For it's a no, one more card. The Muse of Emotions. We have the Queen of Emotions and the Muse of Emotions. Yeah, see? This is what this muse would do. Take these emotions, work with them, and love them and nurture them because this is ultimately what you need, Gemini. You need this nurturing and this loving. And, and it's also what you deserve. And I don't really think you believe you do. Okay? I know this Gemini is going to be a long reading, so that's okay. Step into the unknown. <laughs> Look at this. Step into the unknown, even though you can't see what's coming, even though you don't know. You know, this, um, see this person has the key here? It's sort of like the disassociation. Stepping into a whole new world, letting go of that disassociation. But that's what I love about this, there's no masks anymore. The mask is gone. Look at this. There is no masks in this bottom row here. There's no masks. And it's raw and it's scary and you do feel vulnerable. And it's really uncomfortable. But 
but it's necessary for you, Gemini. Because I feel like you've had yourself locked away for so long. It's now time to release yourself. Right? Let's have a look. Tell me more about stepping to the unknown, the Gemini, please. We've got justice come up. One more card for step into the unknown for Gemini. Justice. Here we go. Three of emotions. Okay. So with the justice card here, wow. Wow. This is peeling away these layers, man. Peeling away these layers. And I feel like there may have been some work that you have done, Gemini, but there's so much more to be done and the work has only just begun, okay? And and look, this is, this is about truth, you know? This is truth. And stepping into the unknown may reveal more things, um, but they are necessary for you um, to actually go forth and, and have those revealed. Um, if there's anything that any of you are dealing with um, legally, that um, things will be, I just want to say things will be evenly distributed, like everything's going to be brought back into balance the way it should be, okay, because it, things have been very lopsided for a really long time, but if you go down the path, path of pursuing any sort of justice, it's going to work out as it needs to be. Okay, um, with the three of emotions, I want you to surround yourself with those who love you, with those who support you, with those who can help you. Okay, this is very important for you right now, Gemini, because you definitely need it. Okay, um, Gemini, we're going to have a look at the shadow healing and get three cards from there to see what these, we've got one, two, and the upside down, I can't even see them. One more card for Gemini, please. Okay. First card, dumbfounded. Sometimes there are no words for things that happen. And the best thing you can do is shake your head, have a giggle, and move straight past it. Yeah. And maybe it's the case, Gemini, you're trying to work things out and trying to go over it in your head and figure it out. And there just is no, you know, maybe this is what the justice card is about. Just like, do you know what? I don't know about that, but let's move on instead of trying to make sense of it. Okay. Stunned. That moment when time stands still as you try to make sense of what has occurred. This is the golden moment to plan your next move rather than react to the situation and this could very well be what this disassociation card is about right there's something that's happened in your life that has stunned you and you disassociated at some point so it's time to reverse that now so that you can move forward okay because I feel like you've been standing in one place for too long and it is now time to proceed confused the chaos accompanying, accompanying confusion seems misguided. However, the others are too embroiled in the situation to see clearly. You will need to make it simpler. So it's sort of like it's up to you actually to lead the way, Gemini. Because it seems that no one else really has the capability. And so this may very well be a way of helping you do that. Okay, so yeah, wow, that was pretty heavy, Gemini, but also necessary. So whatever it is you're going through, please be gentle and loving to yourself. Please, Gemini, it's so important for you. Um, yeah, I, I feel like that's just going to make things a lot easier for you rather than beating yourself up for things. You need to have your own back to get yourself through this time. Okay, Gemini? Please take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.